It's the wedding of the decade, if not the century. But will it have a price tag to match? There's the dress, of course, the flowers, the cake or cakes. And this being a royal affair, the carriages, the orchestra, the footmen. Then there's the food, 10,000 canapes for 600 people, followed by an exclusive sit-down dinner for 300 guests. A party like this was never going to be cheap. Anything from about 1.2 to 2 million, I would say. That's aside from the things that are making this wedding cost a lot, which is the security angle of this. But for those things, it's a small reception, the Buckingham Palace buffet, 600 people. They could probably do that, even drinking great champagne, good wine, fabulous canapes. And I should think they could probably do that in the palace for anything from about £80 a head. It's the bride's parents who traditionally pay. The Middletons are sharing the wedding costs with the royal family. But the taxpayer is picking up the rest of the bill for the street decorations, stewarding and the biggest cost, policing. $16 million, says the government. If you believe reports in the British press, the total could be anything from $82 million to $163 million. Buckingham Palace says it doesn't comment on the cost of royal weddings, but says those kinds of figures are wildly inaccurate. For a start, the bride and groom won't have to pay venue hire, and the palace says that it's used to hosting big events. The cost of catering, carriages, footmen will be significantly reduced. Figures for previous weddings, like when the groom's father married in 1981, are also hard to confirm. One estimate put that cost at more than $49 million. The royal couple have already told us that they're sensitive to the current economic climate. I would say to them, do that with caution, because although times are tough, this is the British royal family. This is the future king of England. She, if all goes well, is going to be producing future kings and queens of England. This is a huge, huge occasion, not just for us, but for people all over the world. Even if the costs do rise to tens of millions of dollars, that amount will be dwarfed by what businesses could lose. Because the wedding's on an extra bank holiday, the government estimates the loss to businesses to be around $5 billion. A small price to pay, you might think, for an extra day's holiday. Emily Rubin, CNN, London.